Hi kings and queens, this is Queen Amina. Welcome to my channel. I share everything in my life concerning eczema and its effects such as lifestyle, diet, skin management, depression, and mental illness. And with that in mind, I will bring you recipes and cooking segments. As an artist, I will share poetry readings, my artwork and jewelry designs, tips and tricks. I will take you into my adventures, my happenings and my daily struggles. In doing so, I hope to spread support, understanding and kindness, build friendships and kingships along the way. Has it been a long time or what? I've been trying to search for a new job. Um, and in doing that, I've been taking some French lessons, one-on-one -on -one lessons. And now my French is somewhat at a higher level. And I was using that to help me gain some bilingual positions, but that didn't work out. I ended up finding um, an English position and right now I'm in training. A few months of just training and my brain has pretty much been up to here in information but that's okay. And in the meantime my life has been pulling me all over the place and I just needed some breathing space because I started to notice a couple of weeks ago that I was heading in the wrong direction. Meaning to say that I started to feel insecure and steam was going down, my self-confidence was going down and depression was hitting, I was getting really stressed and my skin and my eczema was actually getting worse. I was not sleeping well and I just was coming to a point where I had started to try to impress people um, and do more than I can do. And pass my limits, which with the eczema is not actually the smartest thing. Um, so I went a little too far and then realized, you know what? This is not what I'm going to do and this is not who I am and I'm not going to push myself to the point where my health is at risk. So what I ended up doing was devising a plan. My plan was to work as hard as I can, as best as I can with what I've got. And if that's not good enough, well, that's their loss. Because actually, I've learned a lot. I've learned more about myself. I've learned a whole lot of new skills. So I'm happy and I feel better, I feel stronger, I sleep better, my skin is getting, it's healing, it's getting better. And I feel not as stressed, the stress is almost gone and I feel free and powerful. And it's the most amazing feeling. So, with that in mind, I wanted to share something with you. Here's that something special that I wanted to share with you. Here's a piece of my artwork that I did several years ago. It actually took me more than three years to finish it. And I did it in segments. As for the poem, there is a story behind it. I wrote it back in 2007 with someone specific in mind. But that relationship no longer exists. And just a few years back, I decided to go back 
to that poem and retweak it. And recently, I've looked at this piece of artwork and the poem and it actually resonates with a lot of the people that are in my life now. The kinds of people that I allow into my circle, whether they're family or my friends, co-workers, you name it. So I'd like to read it for you as a little something extra. Blueprint. It simply started with a blueprint you didn't know you possessed, sketched out with roads of trust lines on the surface showing different routes guiding you into my heart, points designed by pencils of honesty, avenues drawn on paper. With the respect you showed through streets and highways, caring traveled, freely painted on the railroad tracks towards the path portrayed by directions of which I wasn't aware existed. You charted yourself upon each piece, each sidewalk and alleyway, making it yours, finding a way deeper into my heart. Concern shared beyond diagrams and graphs, areas unvisited, were places you had unconditional access to, spaces now grown in abundance outlined with sincerity, loneliness faded outside the walls protected through your eyes, where villages, towns, and cities reside forever. Your love simply journeyed on from artery to artery, reaching into the cavernous crevices of my heart, driven by an unimaginable force Byways with concrete asphalt, paved from fun, jokes, and laughter. Your personality traits. Planted flowers, fruits, and blossoms in gardens across the milestones. Extended trails brought me to you. Planned feelings of completeness. Belief built crossroads and love shaped bridges and expressways. It simply was the architect in you who patterned the love for you. That resides inside of me, time and patience held with hope, spreading themselves along buildings and homes, places you made your own, genuinely traced by you alone. For it is you who holds the blueprint that always leads you deep into my heart. A map you designed with your own heart is the only one which will forever reach mine. Kings and queens, thank you very much for watching. I am hoping you have gained much from this video. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and feel free to comment and share your insights and any segment suggestions for the future. You can like any of the pages I manage on Facebook and follow me at these social media platforms. I appreciate all your support greatly. Take care. And remember to smile because you never know if the person looking at it will brighten up their day. See you Mondays and Thursdays. Till next time. Toodles!
you.